Hello classy people, Wayne Bolden from the Speaking Channel. As always, please turn your closed captions on. And of course, our tip sheets are always available. Just email us well in advance at speedking24 at yahoo.com. And Legends of the Game video has been posted. It is Dr. Fager for the month of July. Go watch that video for us. Legends of the Game, Dr. Fager. Well, for right now, we're going to be going to Prairie Metals, Altoona, Iowa. Right? Well, Prairie Metals have uh, four stake races on Friday that I would ask to cover. And, of course, we love doing the minor tracks like that. And we're going to be taking a look at the Distaff race, the eighth race. It is the Iowa Distaff. Uh, going a mile and a 16th for 100,000 for three-year-olds and up fillies and mares. It's a field of seven. Let's run through these fine gals. Yeah, the number one horse, Misty Vale. Misty Vale is 7-2 on our morning line. Five wins from 17 starts, seven seconds. A bit of a bridesmaid by Tonalist. And Tommy Amos dropped this horse in here. Well, Misty Vale can flat out run, y'all. This horse came by way of Oakland Park and by Churchill. Ran in Churchill allowance race on June 12th. Coming back in 26 days. And it's very, very fast out the gate. You'll hear from this uh, this gal for sure. She can fall out of the gate quick, fast, and in a hurry. And matter of fact, I mean, I'm not sure if I'm ready to put her on top, but it won't be no worse than second. I like Misty Vell in this spot a whole bunch. And here is this one, Jil uh, Jilted Bride. Well, everybody know Jilted Bride. She's 4-1 to one on the morning line. Four wins from 18 starts, six seconds, and, and seven thirds. Trained by the Hall of Famer, my guy, Steve Asmussen. And, of course, Stu Elliott is in from Lone Star to Ride, Jilted Bride. Well, a bit of a bridesmaid. I mean, I'm not crazy about her in this spot, even though it's my guy, uh, Asmussen. The speed figures are a tad below uh, the bottom horse in here, uh, Oliver of the Desert. Olivia of the Desert beat this horse, and so did all Good Times did, did as well. So, Jilted, um, I mean, I'm not really quite sure what to do with her, but um, at any place I would use her probably in the fourth spot. But I never put nothing past Steve Asmussen, and particularly the sneaky, sneaky Stu El Elliott. Right? He give those boys a jock lesson and gals down there at Lone Star on most evenings. So, Jilted Bride. It's a usable horse underneath, in my opinion. All Good Things, the number three horse. Well, look at this old timer. All Good Things is 8-1 to one on the morning line. This seven-year-old has 13 wins from 59 starts, 14 seconds, and four-thirds. I mean, you really can't shake a stick at that. This old timer uh, always show up. Now, in this spot, it appears to be a little bit... Uh, underneath these in terms of um, performance figures. Got a great rider in Gonzalez on him for sure. And um, already been beaten by the number seven horse, Olivia of the Desert last time, but only by a limp. So, I mean, the number three, all good times, is not a hard horse to, uh, to surely put in your exotics underneath if you don't want to put them on top. The number three is very useful and not a bad price at eight to one. Well, Grayson's Macho Gal. The old Grayson Macho Gal. Here's the horse that I'm torn between. The number one, Misty Vell, and the number four, uh, Grayson's Macho Gal. You know, Macho Girl is six to one on the morning line. And again, that's very, very nice, right? Four wins from 19 starts, four seconds by Macho Macho, ma Mucho Macho Man, right? And again, it's John Ortiz doing the training. And the horse has been away for 278 days. That's the thing that kind of not make me want to put the number four Grayson's Macho Gal on top. May need a race or two, okay? But the speed figures that the horse was running before uh, they laid, her, uh, laid him away or laid her away back in last October is very, very good. The question is, is she going to be short? off the long 275 day layoff. So I think I just made my decision. I'll make Grayson's Macho Gal my second pick in here for sure. The number five, Becca's Rocket. Well, the old rocket horse don't need to be ashamed of anything at all. I'm telling you, only three to one on the morning line, four wins from 18 starts and six seconds. The speed figures, this horse is just really, really consistent. 
always hit the board, always tries hard, always sitting in a golden catbird seat. So the number five is probably going to be my third pick here. Hate the price on Becky's rocket here at three to one, but it doesn't change the price. It doesn't change the fact that this horse is a hard hit hitter. Becky's Rocket. And I tell you right now, Lane Luzzy is on this horse, and Lane Luzzy is a hard, hard rider. He's a very good, good rider. We're going to use Becky's Rocket as our third pick in here. Blessed again, so I am. Blessed again is a very, very nice horse. Uh, kind of speedy, if you ask me. But, you know, 12 to 1 on the morning line, 5 wins from 29 starts by Pather. And uh, just appears to be overmatched from a performance speed point uh, standpoint from here. So we don't like blessed again the horse. We love being blessed again. But we don't like the number six in this spot today. Not today. And the last horse in the distaff is Olivia of the Desert. Well, we all know this horse, right? By way of Mammoth Park, by way of Oak Line. Well, Olivia is 5-2 to two on the morning line. Uh, five wins from 18 starts. It's McPeak. That's right, McPeak and McPeak doing all the training. And Mr. Corbett is in town to ride. Well, this Bernardini Philly 40-year-old on the back end by Unbridled Song don't need to uh, apologize to anyone. As I had mentioned earlier, she's coming off of a stake win right here at Prairie Meadows, the, John B the Jack Bishop stakes on the 10th of June. And she beat the number... Um, uh, three horse all good times and she beat the number two horse which is the Asmussen runner Jilted Bride okay so again the number seven horse here is a very very nice contender if you ask me for sure well there is your distaff for the girls on Friday eighth race small field of seven my top pick has got to be the number one Right, Tom Amos had Misty Vell ready to roll from the rail. Should save ground into the far turn. Is the clear speed unless Grayson uh, Macho Gal try to go with her. But I like the number one here as my top pick. And my second pick will be the Grayson uh, Macho Gal. We think you may need a race or two, but it is John, uh, Mr. Ortiz doing the training. Wouldn't surprise me. Okay, so the number four is our second pick. For sure, and we would kind of be remiss if we didn't have Becky Rocket as our third pick for sure in here. We're not going to leave that horse off our ticket. No way, no how. And our fourth pick, we're going to go ahead and take the Asmussen runner to run underneath in the super jilted bride with Stu Elliott in the arm, right? It's very always hard to leave Asmussen off of any of these state races. So in your distaff, eighth race, my top pick is the number one. That's right, Misty Val, and then Grayson's Macho Gal, the number four, one, four, five, two, in that order, on Friday, Prairie Meadows, Altoona, Iowa, for sure. In the distaff, talk to you folks real soon.